motherfucking be on YouTube. This your boy, Coach Dante in the motherfucking building, man. Please comment, like, and subscribe on this video, man. I really appreciate you guys for supporting the channel. Really, shout, really appreciate you guys for always tuning in to the live stream. Shout out to the Spotlight Sports Network. Shout out to the Sport, Spotlight Sports and all plays, man. Let's get right into the video. Uh, the Houston Astros uh, re-signed Justin Verlander. Two years, $50 million. Uh, Justin Verlander was hurt all the year this year. Uh, Justin Verlander uh, was... Uh, the reason why the Houston Astros won the 2017 World Series, uh, when the guy is right, he can throw 99 miles per hour fastball, 98. He still can throw 95. Uh, he's a big, he's a big uh, weapon. He's a big weapon in that pitching rotation. Uh, the Astros are going to lose Carlos Correa this year as well. The Astros still going to be good. They got a good farm system. Uh, the Astros uh, lack inconsistent pitching a little bit between the young guys. Lance McCullers was kind of hurt this year. He didn't play at all. He didn't pitch at all in the World Series. That's a big loss for the Houston Astros. Uh, so, again, uh, Justin Verlander is a good veteran leader in the locker room. Jose Altuve came out and said the year 2017, that's when we had that hurricane. The same year we had that hurricane. Uh, he wasn't, he was disappointed that we couldn't get another pitcher. Astros got another pit. The Astros, uh, got another pitcher and that was, uh, Justin Verlander. Uh, he made a whole difference of this team. His leadership in the locker room, his leadership towards the pitching staff. Uh, yes, we lost one bullpen guy that was Kendall Graveman. Uh, we added some depth in the bullpen as well. Phil Natan was good when we got him from the trade deadline from Cleveland. Uh, uh, Ryan Presley was pretty good. He's He was an all-star pitcher this year in that bullpen. And we had Hemi Garcia, who was very good in spots. Uh, Astros did lose Kendall Grayman, I think, to the White Sox. So that's pretty big. That was the eighth inning guy. But when this uh, pitching staff is right, when this pitching staff is healthy, I think the Astros are pretty good. Luis Garcia had a good year. Uh, Varma Valdez struggled in the playoffs, but he did have a great year this year. Um, Urquidy, if he's on, if he's not inconsistent, Urquidy can be good in certain spots. And Lance McCullers, he's good enough to be an ace. He's good enough to be a number one pitcher on this pitching staff as well. So, again, uh, the Houston Astros, that was a big hit. They signed Justin Verlander two years of uh, 50 mil. And if he comes back right this year, I believe the Astros will still be playoff contention team. Just depends on if they get another bat in that lineup to place Carlos Correa. But the Astros got a very good farm system uh, in, in the major league. They have one of the best farm systems. They, they're very good in developing players and in, in drafting the right players. Whether if it's a pitcher, rather, if it's a hitter, the Astros did a very great job of, uh, of uh, drafting. So... Other than that, that's a big move that the Astros made. Uh, if Justin Verlander come back himself, he's going to be very good. He's going to help this pitching rotation out. And also, Zach Greinke, he can pitch well in spots, but you just never know what Zach Greinke, is, what Zach Greinke you're going to get. So, again, we're going to find out what this Astros is going to do with once the lockout come out, and we're going to find out uh, how good of a team this Astros team is going to have. They're going to be good at hitting, but the pitching – uh, get having Justin Berliner right there, and if you can have a full year of Lance McCullers as them two, your one-two punch, that will help out the Houston Astros. Comment, like, and subscribe on this video, guys. Thank you, guys. Shout out to the Spotlight Sports Network. Shout out to everybody that support my channel. Thank you, guys. I'm out. Much love. Peace, guys. Thank you.